How is it going guys? It's Eclipse here and welcome to one of the weird streams that we're going to be doing and of course we're looking at tanks that nobody plays in World of Tanks console so yeah hopefully this should be a good one and we'll crack on and see what these tanks are actually like I'm just going to be picking ones based off of my own experience in the game and tanks that I've basically not seen that many of uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy and we'll be able to uh, to see exactly what tanks people don't usually use so yeah, let's jump straight into it now. So we'll jump in with the Churchill GC. This is a tank that basically, I mean, I don't know who is actually picking this tank. I myself uh, ended up getting this thing just because it is for the content, but I wouldn't recommend it for literally anyone else other than that. So yeah, definitely an interesting one for sure. Um, so I'm interested to see what you guys obviously think about them all. Um, but yeah. Hi there, Antonio. It's nice to see you in here. So yeah, we're going to be playing some uh, some weird vehicles. I have no idea what these are going to be like. It could be horrible, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, if you're joining in, happy Easter. Or at least if you celebrate it. If you don't, then happy weekend. So, yeah. I'm going to be inter this is going to be an interesting one. I have no idea how it's going to actually end up. But we'll see. We'll see. And the first game we get into is a is a tier 7. Not not good. Not good at all. This is a tank that I saw and I've wanted to play for a while actually. Um well, not wanted to play for a while, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to give it a go cuz uh it's one of those weird tanks that I just know I'm going to end up liking for some reason. Um, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> there goes my stats. Oh, believe me, I've played some terrible, terrible, terrible tanks. They don't really do... To be honest, the tank very rarely um, does a whole lot to, uh, to stats. You can still have really good... Uh, games in them. It's just maybe you won't be able to get 70% win rate in something like this compared to like, I don't know, something something slightly worse. I'm loving the physics. It's always good. Right then. Fingers crossed we can have some good games. How's uh how's your weekend slash week been going? I'm hoping you're all going uh going well. Soapy rocks here, console physics coming in. There we go. Lovely. This is actually why I like this tank, is because the gun is just... Mm -mm -mm. There is an SU over here, and I just know what I'm going to get hit by it in a minute. Oh, that would not be good. I don't even have that many hit points we're going to get taken out. Uh-oh. That would be... Uh, that would be terrible. There he is. Let's get him. P forty three. I always like tanks like this. The w the ones that literally no one uses and that um that you feel like if you have a good game it, it was actually worth it. If that makes sense. Because there's so many games in here that you're like, oh yeah, no wonder you had a good game. You're playing in I don't know the Hellcat or something like that. And last stream we had a look at some of the some of the more overpowered tanks. So yeah, it should be. It's interesting to uh, to play some of these ones. Hello there, Leo. Oh, we tracked him. I was going for that, but I was hoping I'd pen. 
Good thing about the uh, the Churchill GC is it honestly can just pen everything. Like, genuinely. This thing has ridiculous pen. Hello there, Nico. I'm hoping you're having a good day. Uh, we've lost so bad. Can I carry in this hunk of junk? Not against a dreadnought that's just going to pen me. But... Not good, not good. I hope your Fridays are all going well. I'm hoping some new tech trees will come. You've researched everything? Oh my word. That is some that is some grinding. That's my goal for this year is to uh, try and research everything. And get everything in the game. Mm -mm -mm. I have no idea if it's actually achievable this year. But we'll we'll give it a go. And hopefully we'll be able to get everything. I'm feeling like we could, potentially. So, fingers crossed if I if I keep it up. Oh, we missed. This is not good. Dreadnought's just going to clap us as soon as he sees us. Ooh. Oh, he missed. Uh-oh. Right. Yay. And now I die to... The 1375. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think we're going to get very many shots left. Uh, this is probably why people don't play in these tanks, you know. I don't know why I do it to myself. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to play in some of the worst tanks in the game. That, that sounds like a good idea, you know. Uh oh. Oh, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, how much can we get on the... He's using the small gun. Thank you. God damn it. Well, <laughs> hello everyone since you've... Uh, whilst I was just getting rammed by a, a little J-Panther. Brilliant to see. I mean, we still did a, a good game. I expect we might have even had the most damage in the game, but... Yep, it doesn't matter if you lose, which is always good. Brilliant result. We did have the most damage in the game. And half of our team did no damage. That's always a good one. Uh, some games are just not meant to be won. I'm going to have a... I guess we can play, we can play another game into something else. I've got uh, a few tanks in mind that I wanted to to play that very rarely get played. I think that that was the aim is to show that even some of the like weird tanks that basically no one ever jumps in are still actually good. I think the next one we'll look at is the uh, SU-101. This is a tank I, I really loved when I actually went grinded through it. And it wasn't even that long ago when I was getting the uh, 263. And by the way, Greg Sausage Roll, today's theme is we're playing some of the worst tanks in the game. Or at least some of the tanks that no one plays and they might not actually be as bad as what people people make out. So that's, that's hopefully something interesting. Because this tank is actually, it's pretty good to be fair. I feel like you can have a have a good impact with this one. But most people don't realise. I always feel like um, non-turreted tank destroyers always get a bad rep. Usually because they're played terribly. Like people just YOLOing in with a non-turreted tank destroyer thinking, oh, why couldn't I deal with this medium tank? I don't understand. <laughs> But yeah, the SU-101 is actually good. Are you guys, uh, have you guys got a bank holiday for um, Easter? I'm assuming, I, I don't know what it's like in the US if anyone's from the US watching. Do you, get, do you guys get bank holiday? Or like 
time off in the year for like special events. I'm assuming you do, right? Conquerors. It's not fun when you're in a tier 10 game because everything basically just auto pens you, which is not good. Apparently, we're spotting this guy. You know, I, I hate the Panzer Jaeger. I, d I absolutely despise that tank in the game. That one was just one wargaming genuinely did, just forgot to balance. I think they put it into the wrong mode, to be honest with you. Oh, this is what this tank is all about. Standard day of mail delivery. Okay. No school for most. Ah, okay, I see. It's good to see Artie aiming. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure whether you get like the same same bank holiday days off or or whatever. damage attracts. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I forgot that there's uh, there's some broken tanks in the game. That was a nice one. Uh, I love it when a good plan comes together. I'm probably taken out here. Got a little bit lucky. There we go. All we've got to do is maintain a healthy amount of sense in this game. Right. Uh, I couldn't even pull over and deal a quick shot. Oh, you want me to play the Lurva? That's a good shout, you know. I kind of like the Lurva. I think I've only got the black Lurva, so... Um, I mean, it's the same tank. It just literally doesn't do anything different. Um, but, yeah. I'll play it. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Right. How about that three shot autoloader that they gave away during the Hot Wheel season? I actually have no idea. What, what, what is that? The three shot autoloader? I have no idea what that is. What is, um... I probably have it if it's, um, from the Hot Wheels server. Uh, season, even. I know that there's the E75 TS, which is, like, the Hot Wheels Lurva, but I don't know what. Is it the, the T77? Like, the American one? Because I, I quite like that tank. I think they gave it away as well recently again. Oh, there it is. My little least favourite tank in the game. I've got my, my lovely beverage, obviously. Keep, keep me refreshed. It's actually kind of warm in the UK. It's starting to warm up finally. I was out buying a barbecue today. One of the one of the many luxuries of of having a house is um is having to buy all of the kit that you forget about. Oh, the tiger shark. I know what you mean. 
Yeah, yeah, I've definitely got that one. You can play that little light tank. For sure. I think we're going to have to pull up on this Barask. Hey there. Ooh, AVRE, don't look at me. I know about you. Ram in for the win. Hey there, big fella. Ah, I love getting right up close and personal to the backside of those of those broken British ones. Having a house is always nice until something breaks. Yep, that is literally it. I had to fix. Well, I had to get someone in to fix one of our toilets. That was that was good. I tried doing it myself, but it was just a pain. So I decided, nope, it's just best to pay someone else to come and do it. Right. Oh, that was it. I've got another I've got another class one. Let's see that's good. It's the T28. I haven't played this one in so long. Have I got enough money? Oh, I've run out of money. Oh no, this is never a good. I've bought the wrong thing. Oh, I don't think I've actually purchased any of the modules. I'm too poor. I can't even play it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh dear, we'll have to we'll have to pick one of the others that have got a kit out. Oh dear, we're really have, having to to scrape the bottom of the barrel here. Finland uses the UK and US kids' Halloween tradition on Easter. They dress up as witches and go ask for candy. What? I feel like you're trying to have me on. Is that actually true? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Pat, I have no idea what you're on about. This is this is no such thing. This is uh, pure. It's just coke with a weird substance on the top of it. I have no idea what you're on about. No idea. It, it's definitely not the Irish drinker's favourite. Definitely not. Uh, Jalen, is the Object 257's maxed out gun any good? Uh, yeah, I think it is actually. Uh, it's got the higher alpha, right? That it starts off with like a, a pretty sucky gun, from what I can remember. So yeah, but it does get better. Trust me, the Object Two Five Seven gets much better as you go through. So I'd um, I'd be very very happy with that tank. Plus, like you can turn side on. <laughs> You're Irish. I can spot them. Yeah. It's, it's my favourite drink, beverage of choice when going out, if that makes sense. Oh, that guy got deleted. You got the, you got the 257's first mark and you didn't even get the top gun. That's nice, you know. He should go for the three mark. He should try and get it. That's when I really like learnt how to play the game. Is when I started going for for them. Although it's not the most fun thing to do in the game, admittedly, I wouldn't recommend it for most people. I feel like um, it can get pretty toxic when you start playing for just three marks and stuff like that. 
As you can see, the TOG is so fun. I love this tank. And totally not what is on screen. I don't think, I think we're going to win and then I'm going to end up not doing anything this game. just so slow. Why does anyone put themselves through this tank? I actually have no idea why anyone would want to play this thing. Fastest third mark you got in the Pershing in 82 games. That is pretty good. Well, it's very good. I think um, for most people, if you can get a, a percent per game... That is uh, that is usually pretty good. Obviously, at the beginning, you're getting like five percent a game, etc. Uh, but if you can get it, get the mark in under 95 games or third mark in under 95 games, that's uh, it's very good. Artillery, leave me alone. I don't want to be a toasted tog. I don't want to be a hot tog today. A little rat trying to go for me. This is this is ninety nine percent of tog. This is why you should never buy the tog. I, I genuinely one of the worst things that you can buy. It's just a meme. I mean, it has fourteen hundred hit points at tier six, but it is utterly useless. There is actually, oh, I hate this thing. I mean, look at it. Useless slab. Uh-oh. We know where the Absolution's weak point is. Uh-oh. I don't know what he's doing down here, by the way. Like, actually no idea. Well, at least we got a five for effect. Brilliant. Totally working as intended. As if we spotted him. Uh, that's a feels bad. No, don't run away. As if we hit it. Ah, oh, I'm fuming. I bought the tog because of your video. Thank you. <laughs> Go out and buy the TOG now. If you don't, I'm going to come for you. Because if I have to be put through this torture, then you definitely can. What a great tank. Is there any guide on how many games you need to mark a tank? How much damage is needed for each award? There's, there's no real, like, um set amount of games that you'll need to mark a tank it's it's just down to how how much damage or combined assistance and damage you get in a game uh, so it doesn't it it doesn't necessarily uh, need you to have like a ton of games but um, the calculator gives you a set of 100 the top like it's basically like a rolling average of all of your games so like your last game that you've played in the tank is like valued higher than your second to last game that you've played in the tank and is valued which is valued higher than your third to last and then like all the way at the back you've got your like hundredth game and it's worth like you know one hundredth of your foot like last game that you played in a vehicle so uh in order to get your higher kind of overall you'll notice that at the beginning when you've not played a tank before like, for example, um, you'll see yourself going up by like 6%, 7%, even 10% if you have like a really good game as your first game. Um, and then as you get higher and higher, you start playing more games, you then get a better average. Um, 
So essentially what you'll see is like, let me try and find probably a tank that I've not played that much in, but third marked. So like, you can, for example, you can see see like some of these, I've played four games, I've got 10% uh, marks of excellence. Issue, I mean, in this one, I've literally played five games, I'm at 27.5%. So um, on this one, yet again, six games, 24%. Uh, so it just depends on how much damage you've done. So like, that that's kind of how how it goes um but yeah i'm just trying to find find a tank that i've actually played a decent amount in uh and got got some marks for example i think we've probably got a third mark i mean this one the m46 i'm at 81 percent damage standing in 34 games so i mean it's pretty decent uh, and the lower tiers are always easier to mark, which is why you see seal clubbers jumping down to the low tiers to play, um, because they can't three mark a tier ten. Because obviously the game's harder um, at tier ten than it is at, at the lower tiers. As much as people don't want to admit that, it is it's harder to play, or do consistent at the top. So we'll play, uh, we'll play the Excalibur because this one is genuinely like you never see this tank in the game. Uh, and this is one that I actually four marked. So I've got 100% on this one. So hopefully that w it's kind of uh, uh, difficult to explain. But yeah, I would say for the average person, if you're like uh, probably slightly better than average and you're actually capable of getting three marks because probably the average player on World of Tanks isn't actually capable of getting three marks on a tank, no matter how many games they play. I mean, I've played a lot of World of Tanks PC. You can look at people's stats in the game directly, and you can see there's people that have played like 5,000 games in one specific tank, and they've not been able to get above two marks. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is based primarily on how much damage and assistance you can deal. Um, so, obviously, if, you, if you're kind of new to the game or someone that... Uh, isn't very experienced or or just is not necessarily one of the top players it's going to be way more difficult than uh, it will be for for someone that's sweated out the game and played hundreds of days like I have in the game um, because obviously you probably haven't spent the same amount of time um, but yeah I mean this thing I think you need like 2,000 average damage to be able to get like a hundred percent so sounds like not a lot but in a tier 6 to do that every single game when you're coming up against tier 8s it's um it is slightly more difficult oh sorry oops but hopefully that wasn't like a convoluted convoluted way of going around it and also remember there are so many opportunities where like you just get like one shot by arty or something like that um or at least you did back in the day when they had more alpha um but you still have the risk of this tank, for example, meeting a KV-2 and getting killed straight away at the beginning of the game because it's the first tank you find and he manages to, you know, swing his turret around and pen you. Um, yeah, I mean, you still get that problem, um, which is obviously uh, going to ruin your marks of excellence. You can go down by like 2%, 3%, especially if you're at like 98% uh, of your marks of excellence. There's someone over there. I think it's a Comet. There we go. I know where you are. going to be here somewhere. I think he's pulled back down, but... Hello, Rick. Hopefully you're doing well. Nice to see you back in here. The weirdest thing about this tank is it doesn't have a turret. Or a fully traversable turret, but it has it has a turret like this. I mean, what is this thing? Uh, it is a premium, of course, so you do have to actually pay for it. Um, but it is super cheap. And if you're interested in like fast firing tanks, this is probably one for you. Like I absolutely adore this tank. I think it's brilliant. But you can see I've only done what 590 damage, which is by no means anywhere near where we need to be to to maintain the marks of excellence. And also now I've got a load of people over to the left that are going to be coming. So I'm going to uh, 
take a, a quick strategic leap. I'm going to try and go for the comet. He's just probably going to be over there. Uh-oh. Best day ever. Now, ah, what's happened? Did you win the lottery? That's the real question. Or is it something... Is it something even better? <laughs> this thing... Uh, it's just such a... It's such a meme. I love it. It's such a good tank. Oh, I've got a tiger over here. You know what? I'm just going to go. Hello there. How are you doing? I can out DPM you. If I can pen. This is what you want. Someone that's aiming at someone else. Not actually seeing you. Oops. Panzer 5 4. Thinking he's funny. What I can do now, though, is get in a bush and there's literally nothing he can do. Ah, that was a wreck. This tank has uh, <laughs> best day ever. You woke up. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Problem is, Panzer Five Four is just going to come round and uh, hail Mary me in a minute. Right, this guy's been evading me the entire game. Oh, we broke his engine. This comet's going to be like, uh-oh. Time to push, because I don't think we're going to do anything else from over here. I got this tank with the Battle Pass key cards, but I never played it. It looks fun. Oh, it is fun. Honestly, this tank is, uh, is a good one. I'm not going to say it's overpowered. It's, it's, it's far from overpowered or, like, amazing or anything like that. It's, um, it's got a lot of negatives, let's just say. I don't think anyone's going to be, uh, yeah, calling it insane or anything like that. And the problem is, is uh, if you don't fire enough premium in it, you just don't do any damage. Oh my word. Rick. Thank you very much for the $20. I really appreciate it. Holy cow. You're back again. With those donations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did I get my PC yet to answer your question? Not yet. I'm going to wait until um, some sale has come out and uh, and I'll end up getting a, getting something slightly better, I'm thinking. So we're on the saving. I want to make sure that we make the best use of the money. So, fingers crossed. We can get something decent. Maybe like Black Friday. I know it's a while away, but, but that's usually when uh, some deals come up. And maybe I'll be able to get into contact with like someone like PC specialist or something to just build the computer. I would do it myself, but um, it's just it's more annoying to to kind of manage, and I don't want to break anything. <laughs> I know computers are just basically Lego, so everything just slots together. Clint, thank you very much. Always enjoy your videos. Very informative. Keep up the good work. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate you sticking around and watching it. Has anyone noticed that the map, the big overlay... The big one overlaps the border because I can't unsee it. Wait, what do you mean? 
As in, like... Oh, new egg has sales. Yeah, I did have a look at um, eBuyer and places like that. But they didn't didn't have that that good. I know they've got the Easter sales and stuff. I don't know if they have like a UK arm. We could win this, you know. There's a comet that's on low health, but it's the SU-152 that's going to be a pain. Uh-oh. That's not a tank I want to see. Oh, we did get in there. Nice. The grid is slightly larger than the map. Is it? Oh, no. I don't want to see it if you guys are... You're hating on it. Yeah, nice one, Comet. Go on. Do it again. Am I Welsh? Uh, no, I'm not Welsh, but I did live in Wales for a while, and that was probably when I first got this tank. So, that's a little uh, tribute, I should say. Right, don't want to get hit by the ISU. Lovely, teammate takes out the Comet. Now we should be able to win, hopefully. As long as the ISU or the SU doesn't high roll me. I'm going to get into the dip. Oh, you mean the actual map. Oh, no, this isn't good. This is not good. Of course we're bouncing. Can I not bounce, please? As if he's got the derp as well. That's the most annoying bit. I'm going to need this uh, the teammate to help out. Of course, we're never hitting. The ice is going to be coming. Oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> it's like a, the Duke of Death over here. Oh, he's fired. This is just not fun. Can you leave me alone, man? I don't know what our boy over here is doing. I was kind of hoping he'd come in and help, but apparently not. Why are you looking over that way? The ISU's over here. I think we've got an alien on our team. Yeah, oh dear. Hello, Wanchi. Greetings from Buenos Aires. It's nice to see you. I would love to say hello in your language back, but I won't do myself the disjustice or any Argentinians. Come on, M4. I didn't have much faith. Oh, I should not have lost that. As if that guy was firing the HE. He had the derp gun, man. Oh. If it was literally just not that tank, it'd have probably been fine. Well, apparently we didn't we didn't stay at hundred percent. Down to ninety nine point seven five. That's probably just because the the requirements have gone up since we last played the tank. But yeah, that's one of the weirdest tanks, but I'd recommend it actually. Some of the ones that we've played, probably not, but yeah, there are some, some decent ones out there. I'm running out of money though, 
So I'm going to have to play some of the ones that... Can't play the Bog Horror. I guess we can play uh, play this one. I very rarely see the uh, the T32. So we'll give it a go. It's been a while since I've played this. And it got buffed last time I played it as well. but Or after I've last played it. So it could be much better now. I think it gets the top turret of the T32. You're soon as broke as I am in World of Tanks. Yep, this is this is ninety percent of my uh, my time in World of Tanks. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, you've got fifty million!" And then literally the next day, I'm like, "Oh, I've got no money left because I've bought all of the tanks in the game because Wargaming don't have a uh, like a press account." So like on the PC version of World of Tanks, people like Quickie Baby, Skill, blah blah blah, they all get. Um, an account where they can play and they have every single tank in the game and they have like you know ridiculous amounts of gold and stuff like that which they can spend on getting every tank in the game but unfortunately console don't have anything like that and I, I did ask to see if we could get something but they were like no we don't want to do it or something along those lines I'm pretty sure if I can remember it would have been nice to nice to have it though Because uh, that way I could show you. I mean, I don't have every single tier 10 in the game. So um, it would have been nice to have them to show to show off to you guys. Like, oh, this is what this tank is like. But unfortunately not. T32 was your first spontaneous second mark. Oh, the T32 is such a good tank. I think I'm actually, I might be able to, I'll see if I can get onto maybe the the stream on Tuesday. No, Monday, whenever it is that that the uh, that the server goes live, I'll try and see if I can uh, can get on to see what the uh, what the new update is like for the new season. I'm sure we'll get some news in today's uh, today's stream. So I'll do a video tomorrow for you guys uh, to talk about the new season, the new update, all of the news that Wargaming have given out and stuff like that. That should be an interesting one. See what they've actually come up with for the new season. I have no idea. They might even release the... I don't know if they said that they were going to do like a, a new tech tree or something. Brilliant. Thank you, T57. Um... But yeah, I think that we'll probably get a new tech tree line reveal, maybe. I mean, I don't think they've confirmed it or anything like that. But it'd be nice to see some new tech tree. And I think that actually, it will probably be like a Cold War vehicle. So uh, that'll be nice for for you boys that play Cold War. It's been a while since you've got some tanks, right? Afternoon, DJ. It's nice to see you back in here. Hey, you've got some gold saved up. Yeah, I've got just over 6,000 because I was like, I won't spend any more because I'll buy the ultimate season pass like I do every time. And hopefully get some uh, some decent stuff. I have been meaning to do like a, a key card opening, but I haven't actually got around to doing it yet. Can't pen the 57 heavy. This is a problem with this tank. It doesn't get any pen. Which is probably why people hate playing it. I mean, it's just a T32 that has a ridiculously long reload uh, for a, for the three shots autoloader. But sacrifices like the pen and stuff like that. Ugh, not my favourite. You reckon the new tech tree is going to be the Yo tanks? 
I was hoping it would be, since we've uh, we've waited for ages. The Concept 1B's been in the game for a long time. But I'm not sure if they've got like the mechanics down yet for the uh, for the O tanks, like for the double track mechanic, you know, where like you can get hit in the tracks twice and stuff like that. I don't know if they've sorted that out. But I mean, if they have, then that'll be cool. It'll be something different that we don't usually see. Ugh, it's just not fun. You're more of a World War Two player, yeah. So am I. I, I pretty much only play World War Two, as I'm sure that you, you guys know. I think I only play Cold War when I jump in and uh, and play some uh, uh, to earn some silver. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, for the one dollars. Thank you very much. With the weight emoji. <laughs> the fitness. PH fit. Uh, it's the one euro donation. Oh, you want me to play the light tank? Yeah, I mean, I can play the TANK. It's been a while. Oh, as if... oh my least favourite tank. The dummy tank. Uh, this is not going to be fun. Is he going to pen me in the cupola? That's the real question. Nope, but the STRV can pen me in the upper plate. <laughs> uh, I hate this tank. Hey there, big fella. Oh, we didn't pen the third one. Oh, well. Did you really have to track me? Ugh. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, it's just not fun, man. There's nothing you can do in tanks like this in a, in a tier 10 game. I should have probably gone with the other team. We're probably going to win to cap because, you know, one of the most fun things, I think, in World of Tanks. All right, let me see if I have got the t uh, the TANK. I actually don't think I have it, you know. I I actually don't have it. Apologies. I cannot play it, unfortunately. Unless. Isn't it part of the... Was it part of this? No, we don't have enough points anyway. N nowhere near. Ah. Sorry, Jason. Apologies. I, can't, I, can't, I literally can't play it. I don't have it. And I don't have enough gold either to buy it. I will play the uh, the Tiger Shark, though. No, I won't. I haven't got any equipment in it. Uh, maybe next stream, next week's stream is going to have to be a silver grind one. We'll drop, we'll drop a commander in this Chinese light tank. Is this the one we want? Yeah. I was thinking about going for, uh, for the fourth mark on this one. I absolutely loved it. And I've also got to grind it anyway, so... Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll actually go for it. Fast running out of money. Uh oh. 
This is not. This is not good. We can play a few games in this. Let's make sure we've got a times five in here. I need one hundred and fifty-six thousand. Uh, Jason, what's a good start? A premium tank. I have a couple. Just wondering. Um, a good starting premium tank. I think that's a hard question. You know. I think because there's there's so many like really good ones. Um, it's just trying to get one that you learn from because although there's like I could give you like the uh, Panzer Jaeger, which is the NM116, um, which is like a broken tier eight medium tank destroyer. I don't think for most people it's going to be like the best premium tank for people to get and learn from. Um, so, premiums to learn from. I mean, definitely not the Ram Panzer. Oh, dear. I hated that thing. Panzer 5.4. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, the T-34 85 M or the T-34 88, they're very, very good tier 6 tanks. You could probably learn a little thing because it's pretty good. You're in the Walker Bulldog in my game. Ah, nice to see you. So yeah, I I'd say like the T-3488, it's a pretty cheap one, so you don't have to spend a lot of money, which is the key thing um, as well. I wouldn't recommend any buying any like heavy tanks because they're just ridiculously expensive. They're like 11,000 gold for pretty much all of the tier 8 heavies in the game. Um... And some of them are good, but you'll probably find like medium tanks will will be better. So I think it's difficult to uh, to pick one. Oh, what have we got over here? We've got a Yolo wagon Vanguard. Don't quite know what he's doing. Oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie. These are the these are the worst light tank players that you want on your team. I'd be so triggered if I got a Vanguard that just yoloed in to kill Artie. It's like Artie's not even that much of a problem now. The funniest thing is like 90% of the games you'll never make it to the Artie anyway. If like if there's a good player on your team. On the enemy team, like, you, you will not make it to Artie anyway, so you might as well just not bother. Um, but, yeah. Oh, that feels bad. I am sorry, my friend. Can you actually shoot through here? Apparently you can. problem with going down here is you can get hit from the base. Very, I very rarely like playing in the middle. Definitely not early game anyway. Good thing about this tank is it's actually got a rapid reload for, uh, for the amount of alpha. And the alpha is like super nice. You can trade with heavies. Gotta go try spot that guy again. Uh oh, Barask is out in the out and about. Someone on the hill. I'm assuming it's the tiger. Problem we're not just spamming premium in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the arty he's going for us. Yeah.
He wants a piece. just too easy. It's like playing 3D chess around around the boys. I can't wait to get Amorat. <laughs> it's like playing 3D chess gets Amorat instantly by the arty. Watch. Watch this little rat. He's been on me the entire game. I don't think so, my dude. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Tigers are usually just free damage. Yeah, I just view them as a big bunch of 1,500. Look at this rat. Honestly, I never see why people drown themselves. It's just a waste of, like, a potential damage that you can deal. Like, honestly, if just freaks. It's like, for me, like, especially in arty, you can just, like, be like, oh, hmm, do I drown myself or do I actually, like, uh... Or do I save myself and then, like, go in and try and pen someone at the end of the game? But, obviously, the memers, they don't like it. 88% in this thing. Having some bad games. Ah, oh, the Leopard 2 AVs on sale. Hmm, I wonder why. Uh, can I play the Sturm VK? I can play the Sturm. I think I've got that. That's one that I don't really see that often. I don't like this thing though. It's it's too slow. It's too slow. That was mean. Well, you've got to be in it to win it. And unfortunately the tiger he wasn't he wasn't all in. The tiger though, like the damage per minute is ridiculous though. So like Although it might have not very good armor, it has more DPM than most tier 8 medium tanks in the game. So I don't think that you can really complain too much. You love your Tiger 1 and 2. Yeah, the Tiger 2 is, an, is crazy good. It's crazy, crazy good. I'm surprised Wargaming have never implemented, like, a, if you drown yourself, like, two times within a small amount of time, that um, you get banned for a little bit. I'm surprised that that's never come in. Because I can understand, like, maybe one time you accidentally fall in the water. Maybe two times in a day if you're playing a lot. Like, maybe that happens. But any more than that, like... I'm sorry to say, but there's definitely at least one time where you've thrown yourself in the water. Um, what are your thoughts on the Churchill 1? I actually kind of like the Churchill 1. Um, but then again, I like the Black Prince, so I don't think I, don't think I get that much of a... Um, yeah, I don't think that it's completely the best... Tank. It's just a golfer. Thing is, this tank is like, um, it's not fun to come up against uh, one of the big boy Panzer 5 4s. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got a seal clubber alert. Who doesn't know how to pen a sturm? <laughs> Get back in the garage. Yeah, If you can't even seal club right, 
He should definitely not be here. Oh, look, we've got another seal. All right, artillery. I might be seal clubbing too, but there's no need for that. I'm bouncing off a stoic. Oh, we're getting all of the memers now. M6s. It's just not fun. It's just artillery. Leave me alone. Ah, that's no <laughs> oh, it's nice to see that the the balanced tier six and tier five artillery are in the game. Uh, I can't complain. I, d I went up the hill. I probably shouldn't have gone up there, even though we did take out the uh, the most broken tank in the game. Adverts? What? Oh, damn YouTube. Coming out. Hopefully they're skippable. I'm, I am hoping they're skippable. Balance in a what game? Never. Yeah. I think we could play the. Uh, I don't know if any of you actually watched the uh, the Chinese tank destroyer video that we did. This this bad boy. Um, but I really liked it. I thought it was a good tank. I'm running out of credits though, which is not good. I need to train up another. You had it's not a skippable. I'll be get, I'll be getting in there to to YouTube, telling them off. I actually have no idea how you can stop um, stop them playing. Those mid rolls. Play the A20 Tier 4 Russian Light. It has around 3k DPM with the 37mm. Does it? That could be a little meme, you know. I reckon that could be good fun. Maybe I'll give it a go. We'll see how it, how it does. Right then. Where do we go? Ah, it's not good. 2,973 damage per minute. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I really want to play the, uh, the tier 9. I think it's going to be a good one. old skip the A20. I probably did if it's a tier 4 just because I, d I don't usually play low tier vehicles but I can always go back at the moment I'm going to have to actually sit down and grind some silver. I'm a bit of a poor I'm a poor man at the moment I'm going to have to get that silver grind on Mister, I think we're going to have to go over here. Oh, look at that. Completing season challenges. Easy. Oh, this T-54 is about to get a world of pain. Yep. And that is why you do not go over the hill on this map. You stay on the other side of this uh, this building right here. Because TDs are like, mm mm mm. Nice little light tank. Luckily, we hit him before the Turan did because he was going to steal all of that. I'd have been fuming. God, you're streaming. 
because Ricky was having some connection issues. <laughs> yeah, that UK McDonald's Wi-Fi acting up. No, I've got I've got one gigabyte Wi-Fi, so um, it, I should be hoping that my Wi-Fi is uh, is able to to stream. Play the ISU 152K. I don't think I have it. I played it because I got it rented by Wargaming, but I never bought it. Um, Uh-oh. This is not good. I don't know what that guy was doing. Obviously didn't realise that we were here, even if we were spotted for the entire time. Mm, I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to get, get pumped by... Uh-oh. Yep. I did do more. Now we line ourselves up. <clears throat> this guy is just pumping everyone. Did they not realise that he was there? I think he's just pumped another guy. Ooh. I always love it when you just flick onto someone on the off chance that you might be able to pen them. I think we're going to lose this. Hiya, Hafiz. I'm hoping you're doing well. Ah, we didn't pen. Needed that, needed that mighty heat round or the RNG to actually go our way. He's still going to be there, right? Not good. Just know the 268 version 4 is going to be like, hello there. Play the i7? You want me to play the i7? Ah, but that's, that's just a common tank, you see. We're only playing the terrible tanks. We are only playing the Awful tanks. You can't wait to see what messed up ultimate tank that they have. Yeah. Um, I'm not looking forward to it either. I'll play the Manticore. That's definitely a, uh, an underused tank in the game. I feel like no one uses that. I'm a little bit scared of the 268. He's going to come round at some point. And although I can take one round... Not good. Oh, there he is. Just going to have to go now. No. Are you... F There, boys, 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 don't get out of my way. Oh, I really did not want to take that big old chunky hit. There's someone over there as well. And it had to be the autoloader. I knew it. Please don't throw this. As if he managed to hit me through both of the tanks. That were in front. Gutted. Live stream the developer stream. I could. Um, as long as I'm talking over it and what they're saying, but it'll be very boring. I feel like it'll be very boring. Uh, SU-12244 has 4K DPM. Yeah, I, it's actually one of the tanks I did a video, or I have got a video ready for, um, that I did recently. Um, but yeah, I will, uh, I'll jump in the Manticore. Because this tank just genuinely never gets used. I think it's just because it's, it's damage per minute is awful. Absolutely useless. Like, I mean, with the full setup, it's got 2,000 DPM. With, yeah. I mean, with a commander, with all of the perks on. So, 
this kind of sucks. It does get really good view range, so it is a normal media uh, a light tank. And of course you get Prokhorovka. What's the enemy lights? T100 and the MX-13105. I feel like you are just the worst T100 LT though with this. So... That's the bit that I'd, I'm not a fan of. Ugh. The bar is terrible. I haven't I haven't actually got it, you know. Uh, otherwise, I would 100% play the bar. Have got the badger, though, so I can play that. I feel like no one plays the badger. It's one of those weird tanks. We did we did do a video recently on the uh, on the badger, so you guys can check that one out. It was surprisingly decent. I won't lie. I'm gutted that the that console doesn't have the uh, have the bush that's here. Spot people going up. I feel like just spotting on console is just terrible. Like you just. There's literally no point. There's just no bushes on, on Prokhorovka. So it's not even like a fun map to spot on. I bet you if if I sat in this bush and don't fire, I'm not going to spot anyone. I'm also probably going to get spotted as well. If you ever want the Sturm Tiger. Yeah, I have got a ton of free XP. So uh, maybe I'll free XP the entirety of the bar. This guy is playing so, so like easy to pen. I am going to fire at him because I'm doing absolutely nothing else. Ah, I didn't get spotted. <clears throat> Look, what is this guy doing? Uh oh. I'm surprised no one else is hitting them though. Literally sat here tracking them out in the open. Now we just get back in the bush. Seems like <laughs> seems like no one else can hit them. Like, active spotting the mid is just terrible. Like, genuinely terrible. Because they always... They always just poke over. And get you. Oh, no. <laughs> Why well, play Tech Tree Tanks when you can buy... Cracked premiums, yeah. It's ninety-nine percent of world of tanks. <laughs> like literally, this guy keeps doing the same thing, and I've penned him every time. Thing is, he can't even spot me. You know. Do I have a CDC? I do have a CDC, and I know your next question is, can you play the CDC? <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. I think the 30105's now realised that he's just been YOLOing the entire time. Like, how is this guy not getting punished? He's literally pulling right over. Ah, uh, 2,000 damage per minute at tier 10 for you. Literally tier 9s that have double that. Oh, can you play the CDC? <laughs> yeah, I can. Unfortunately, I can play the CDC. The STG is rarely seen in battle. Yeah, it's probably because it's, it's not particularly great. I don't like the CDC either. Uh, and I also three marked it, so <laughs> back in the day. Uh, I want to get rid of this guy. 
Can we pen the Capola? Of course not. It's a medium tank, by the way. We'll go undetected in a second. Uh oh, oh, no, no. Uh oh. Sorry, Type 4. <laughs> How did he not pen the FV? I feel like I need to go over this way so we can get rid of some of them because otherwise they just push like this leopard. There we go, nice. Got rid of him. And we actually ended up spotting the T-54, which we might want to get rid of. There we go. Of course she did. What did that guy get taken out of Centurion Navy RE? <laughs> As if the FV went for us. Yeah. I am just not a fan of this tank. How is no one penning this guy? literally doing the exact perfect circles and it's like the most easy to predict tank <laughs> I love getting bounced I love it when they just hit your gun hey there big fella she can do. Uh. Someone asked if the Italian heavies, uh, Italian TDs are coming and they said soon, so I believe they're coming new season on Tuesday. You reckon? Ah, that'd be interesting. I have no idea. I actually have no idea what they're going to come out with. I think we may even have, did we have all of the tier 10 lights? I'm assuming we do. I played bad at the end. I shouldn't have gone in, but I wasn't doing anything. I was bored. You should never do things when you're bored in World of Tanks. I expect the AVRE version 2 is the ultimate season pass tank. <laughs> AVRE 2, tier, tier 9. Honestly, has a three-shot auto-reloading derp cannon. Yeah, that that would be good. Uh, I'd love to see that. Do I have the FCM50T? Uh, I have no clue. Probably. Is it in here? I should probably fill it by heavy. Uh, apparently, yes. I, I, I can't play it. I don't have any silver. What we will do, though, is play the Minotaur, or Minotaur, whatever you want to call it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, we went f full memes in this tank. Ah, no point in having any of that. Who needs a med kit? We just need speed. What do you reckon? Do I waste more of the money that I don't have? I don't even think I can purchase it, even if I get it. Do you have the STRV-81? Uh... The tier 8, like, Centurion, I want to say, from the Swedish line, right? Or are you on about the STRVS-1, like the tank destroyer? Because I, I probably have both, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. 
the World of Tanks console streaming right now? That's the that's the question. Let's have a look. No, not at the moment. Apparently, not on Twitch anyway. Play some tier one or two. Oh dear. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Yeah, you got yesterday the mid Swedish. Yeah, um I think it's a decent tank. I could give it a go. I love the the Minotaur is just disgusting. I played a few games in this when I did the review. Um, and it was just like everything was going right. Literally, I was just YOLOing into people and it was just working. But I don't think you ever see them in game. Basically, just a buffed version of the of the KV-5. I've been playing the KV-5 on PC as well recently, and that's been uh, that's been crazy fun. One of my um, one of my friends, they we we all ran like the KV. There was three of us in the KV-5 platoon, and we were just like yoloing in in it, um, and like we just did some really just ridiculous stuff and they were just there and like people genuinely don't know what to do when like three kv2s are just like i'm coming over they're like uh-oh of course only track brask to get some speed up this thing weighs like an absolute ton I think there's a, a potential ram victim over here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's actually over here. What are you doing? Honestly, people do not know about this tank for some reason. Like whatever, for whatever reason it is, they they honestly just do not understand that this tank is just. A, bit of a meme. I mean, I'll just go for the ram instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a feels bad. What do you reckon about a full health? Ah, uh, it's not full health. Oops. <laughs> I guess that's a feels bad. As if you're just taking out my crew members. I'm not going to bounce off you, by the way. This guy is... <laughs> yeah, I love the Minotaur. It's just a YOLO tank. Will you leave me alone, Barask? Or whatever rubbish tank it was. Trying to... Trying to meme me out. We have got a commander knocked out, though. <laughs> which is not fun. Like, can you just leave me alone? What was it? Is it a lichen or something? Thinking he's funny. Uh, is console getting the the monthly subscription like PC? Uh, we have had no mention of it so far, so uh, fingers crossed. No. I mean, what are they going to give you as a benefit? Literally, like we 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 can't have the map selection where like you can ban certain maps. Hopefully, someone on my team goes back to base. Otherwise, we've lost. As you know, fun. Um, but. Like, what are they going to give you? Just gold every month? And it's like, 
I just don't think that there's enough like benefits for them to be able to justify creating a, a Watt Plus subscription. Like on PC, their kind of justification is that you can get maps and you can get all sorts of like extras. Um, so yeah, I, d I don't know. Need to get this other guy, but I don't think I can. Ooh. All I can do is, is hit and hope. Come on, someone do the honours of taking some out. Ugh. Come on, come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, <laughs> no more winning the game for you, my friends. Oh, we've got a victim. Oh, he's getting up soon. Oh, they've ruined my ram. I mean, that's the Minotaur for you. Honestly, if this thing comes on sale, you, like... As much as it is going to be like stupidly expensive, um, I absolutely love this tank. It's just, it's just crazy good. I'll play another one in it because it's just fun. Actually, we'll play um, Britannia Panther. I think we've got that. It's a tier six, right? What a what? Or maybe I don't have it. Or is it a tier 7? I don't think I have it, unfortunately. But I do have. I want to ram someone again. I want to ram someone for full health. So bad. Do we, do we even have... um? Spool liner on this. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? This is some. Oh no. You're actually having me on. Seven hundred thousand. Ah. Uh... The things I do for you guys, by the way. Just... I would never recommend removing equipment from your tanks. Usually. I will play the CDC, though. I guarantee it. We'll play it soon. Yeah, I'm out of silver now. I'm, I am a poor man. I'll have to uh, sit down one night and just play Cold War premiums for like ten games, and then I'm and then I'm rich again. I guarantee, in like, if I literally just sat down for like a hundred games playing Cold War, I'd probably have like forty million or something ridiculous. I was thinking about it. I just play with like a premium that is that is kind of good. Just sit there for ages playing it. Oh, oh. Apologies, my friend. I need to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. I think I've got some chicken. Let's have some 
cheeky bit of chicken. The event with five times silver a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, that would have honestly been, uh, been rather nice. But unfortunately, I didn't make it. Well, I did make use of it. I think I earned about 40 million. But I ended up, when they did like the sales on all of the tech trees, I think I, I actually just spent it all on on buying like the entire American tech tree from tier 5 upwards. I'm not even joking. I have literally every American one. Problem is, I just want to YOLO so bad. Ah, oh, this guy don't know. Anyone else? There's always campers in the back though. It's just not fun. You gotta wait a little bit to go in for the ram. Pull up for a fiver with Greg sausage rolls, mate. That's not filling up, that's honestly getting filled up. As if I'm bouncing off the back of a general, man. Tank is terrible. Let me ram you. Come on. I know you want me to ram you. Screw this guy. Uh oh. Yeah, she was gonna bounce. Do what I like. <laughs> oh, he bounced. Both of them. That's fine. And should we hit him as a like as a little like surprise as well? <laughs> yeah, man's definitely triggered. Bouncing off us. The peasants. The peasants. I don't quite understand the level that this tank is on. The silly peasants. I know there's a tank over there. I don't care. I just want the ram. No! Leave me alone! Ah... <sighs> I just wanted to ram. It's just not fair. It's not fair. Right. Oh, the CDC. This tank is... Ugh. <laughs> God, you guys are cringing me out, making me play this piece of of dung. I'm just not going to run it with equipment. I don't care. Doesn't matter that much. Well, it does. But welcome to the world of playing old premiums, where they are just terrible. Chieftain T95 is better than the CDC. Yeah, probably. MC hitting me with a happy birthday. One day you'll get it right. One day you'll get it right. When the Modern Armor update first came out, it was quite a surprise. Even does game made a video about it yeah feel like it was uh it's a good idea i just don't like how they executed it i don't i don't know why they put it in a separate game mode i have no idea why they did that in my opinion it would have just been way better to just add it so that we've got more tiers even if they have like the same xp requirement
if that makes sense. Like it, it would have just been way better. Oh, my birthday's in the summer. A slap bang in the middle of the year. Take from that what you will. KV2's two's favourite. No. What are these boys doing? <laughs> this is why I love the new accuracy. I love them. CDC though. It's a giant hitbox for everyone to YOLO. This tank is just no, please, don't use me as a lower plate. I know it's probably more useful in the game than actually trying to drive it round, but... Oh, I hate this tank. I have no idea how I put myself through trying to remark it. It was not a fun experience. This was like back in the day as well, where you had to average like 3k damage. Now it's probably a lot easier to 3 mark, so... we low roll. Right, this guy. It's not fun. The accuracy of this tank's horrible as well, which makes it just like ten times more annoying to play. Oh, I've triggered him. Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly, that's why you don't shoot the big boys. They'll be coming back for you. They tunnel vision. I remember like sweating to be able to get three marks on this thing being like oh like having to like super concentrate every single game it was like really like tedious to try and get the three mark because it's like uh back in the day it was like a new tank so everyone was just playing it constantly and it was free as well so like all of the sweats were playing it um and i wasn't i wasn't as good either so i like <laughs> i like sweated so much to try and get the tank remarked and then you get it to remarked you're like you know what I'm never playing this tank again so I don't know why I bothered doing that tormenting yourself to get a uh, a three mark is just it's just never worth it All you've been doing is playing the King Dragon, trying to level up your commanders. Oh, I feel your pain. I'm trying to do that on PC. Leveling up commanders is actually just long. Oh, I might die to this vanguard if anyone else comes over here. been grinding for three months yeah it's been um i don't think i had to grind at all for any commanders post update 6.0 i didn't have to grind before i had i had a commander for every crew basically uh oh this is not good <laughs> we've had it all we've had it all in this game this is the CDC experience, by the way. Like, you'll be seeing this. You'll see this screen a lot more than you'd, you'd hope for. This is a... Uh, this is 
the majority of your of your time. Uh, am I going to do more what PC videos? Yeah, yeah. I've got loads of um, videos planned. I've got a ton of them. We're basically just trying to grow on the what PC channel this year, and obviously just continue as we as we are on the console. I'm just adding in an extra channel and video every other day, probably on the PC. I'd probably commit to, um, and then on the console, pretty much every day. Um. And we'll see where it goes from there, because I think I'm up to like four thousand subscribers on the uh, on the PC so far, which is mad. It's just gone nuts in the last uh, last month. Do I have any artillery? Makes a bathtub stream. I haven't done any streaming on uh, on PC though, so. Am I mad about the crew changes on PC? Yeah, I just feel like it's just a terrible change. Like, <laughs> yeah, it just it's just a terrible change. I honestly like I like comparing it to console. I'm like, I, I thought this was bad on console, where we where we got a capped nine skills and then they introduced a ton more. Um, and then and then they came out and were like. Oh no, it's unlimited and we've added more to the point where we know it's impossible for you to get the crew skills. But instead of limiting it, people who are like ridiculously wealthy or like uh, addicted to the point of where they're willing to spend like thousands of pounds to get a slight advantage. It's like, what's the point in even having it on here? So I think we're very lucky with the devs or, or the like monetization thing that we have on console because look at how many pre free premium tanks we get look at how expensive the premium tanks that we have look at the pc premium tanks that you have to spend they are literally never on sale for 50 percent ever um and they are also like 30 or 40 pounds each just for a premium tank so like on this screen right here where i'm just looking at tier 8 mediums it would probably be like two thousand pounds on pc I'm not even joking, like £2,000 for this. On console, maybe £150. It's literally like, probably a lie, but it's probably like £300 on console versus 2000 on PC, which is like ridiculous. Because we get the bundles, you know. You can, you can get 50% off all of these tanks. So, yeah. It swings and roundabouts. We don't get as good, like in-game stuff but at least the monetization isn't like disgusting to the point where like you just feel like you want to throw your head against a brick wall that's my view on it anyway obviously everyone is entitled to their own opinion so um i'm sure you guys have a different opinion So like even our crew system is uh is not that bad. Like at least you don't have to pay to get your crew. Do you know what I mean? To get a nine skill crew, it like takes a long time, but at least you don't have to like pay to be able to get it. At least we don't have to pay to reassign our crew to a different tank. Like there's no like having to as long as it's on the same nation, which I think is very fair. And you can literally assign a commander to any crew. Like, that is very, very good. On PC, you want to assign a commander to a same tech tree vehicle that is, a, like, the next tech tree vehicle in, in the game. You have to literally pay a 1,000 gold to be able to, to play it with a decently trained crew or you have to play with, a like, a terrible crew. <laughs> like, for, like, five games or six games or, or ten games. So, yeah pointless but one thing that i don't like on console is the is the view range um and concealment 
like that like the it just sucks I mean there's no point in playing light tanks in like 99% of situations because everything else is uh he yeah, had voice crack yeah um, yeah but yeah like in 99% of situations uh, it's kind of just it's just not good because you just get spotted in a light tank even by like mediums or or heavy tanks uh, you'll get spotted and it, and it's like uh, even when you're sat in a bush etc you're doing everything you possibly can and there's like a heavy tank like a long way away they'll still spot you and it's like okay and even if you double bush sometimes I'm just like there's literally no way that guy spots me but apparently they do let's what are you doing this is some this is some this is some unicum plays right here. Literally sitting behind someone. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like that was that was my rant over. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty happy with where console is comparatively. Do I think it's perfect? Absolutely not. The game is not perfect. I'd like to see a lot more like learning stuff in the game even if they just like put like a learning page where they just link people to videos like that would be good and I'm not talking about my videos like I'm talking about like anyone that's made a guide that Wargaming deem is 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 like good or or whatever I think that would be good or if it's just Wargaming's own guide um, <laughs> well, may maybe, maybe if it's Wargaming's own guide. <laughs> I used to play uh, GTA and side scrape. See, I tried that, but it never works. From from when I played, I was like, oh, you just get penned by it anyway. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. You did miss the CDC experience. You just saw the um, uh, the video will go live though, so you can so you can actually jump back and and watch it. Um, but I mean, I could play another game. Uh, I'll try and put some equipment in it. I just don't have that much money right now, so that kind of sucks. Kippy's like, how did I get hit through the wall? I have no idea. Ah, okay, <laughs> you're just trying to get me playing the uh, the CDC again. I see how it is. Oh, I've got a little. Oh, I was gonna poke him, but I decided. Mm, don't really fancy it now. Right. Where are you? I think we've lost. You know. I don't think that this is gonna go very well for me right now. Oh, I love it when you try and track a tank and it doesn't actually track them and then they... Or when you go for damage and then it, it only tracks them but doesn't track them because it only damages the track. Yeah, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, here we go, Yolo Wagon. Mm -mm. That's how you, uh, when you corner fight, always fight. Mm. HE. There we go again. We don't have enough module damage to. Oh, we might win. Kind of shafting them. What's my favourite tank? <laughs> Having played the Minotaur recently, probably that. I, I'm loving the Minotaur. Even. Don't think I can pen the E4 Scapola. Ah, we're not loading the good rounds. I was wondering why we can't pen it. Uh, that's a real shame. Can we pen the Capola with the I-7? We can! We're so close, it's actually possible, and with console accuracy. This guy's like, how is this, how is this tier 8 medium penning my, in the turret? <laughs> Uh, this guy's gonna be triggered. Uh oh. 
can get one more into him before he reloads. Might even be able to finish him. No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. That was not fun. I tried my best, to be fair. But there's only so much you can do against three tier tens. <laughs> Me playing in the tier eight. Should have definitely um Maybe I could have done better. It's just a shame we bounced so many off of the IS7, I think. That kinda sucks. But Yeah, it's gone. Um, yeah, there's not much you can do. And I had to go forward because the uh, Centurion AVRE was behind me. I didn't put a times two silver boost on. That's what feels bad. Right. Play some Badger. I haven't played it since we did the video. And I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was actually good fun. Play the AVRE for the lols. Right, Lakeville. Now, do we cross? <laughs> this tank, this tank kind of triggers me because it's like you're supposed to have armor, but it, it I mean, it just doesn't, does it? Let's be honest. That big plate in the middle. It's just like, mm mm mm. Big lower plate. The flats, flat armor on the left and right of the gun mantle that you can pen. If you've just got like stupid pen. Ugh. One of my favorites. Dwarf Vader. Uh, I rate that. seems like like this is why that this game's kind of trash for light tanks is because like I can guarantee this guy's getting outspotted by mediums or tank destroyers because of the uh, the view range changes that we have and that light tanks just don't get enough camo I don't think because like I can guarantee he like he's just gonna get spotted and there's nowhere for him to go because there's like no bushes on console which is kind of triggering just gotta wait now uh, 
And so the waiting game begins. I'm hoping your guys' Easter's going well. I'm going to go... Uh, I find myself a little steak. Where did I see that? Oh. Mm, this is this is just uh, not fun because you just know that there's an FE at the back. the worst that can happen. Don't answer that. There's no oh, This game's going to be a steamroller. can't focus on the stream <laughs> stream if I keep having voice cracks and uh, it's uh, it's glorious it's all the talking you see and now it's time to continue our advance towards the opponent in a lovely manner where they are definitely going to have fun where we can continuously track them there is absolutely nothing that they can do unless of course I miss my shot in which case there is plenty that they can do oh my god I'm being an idiot yeah, I know about you oh there big fella uh oh <laughs> oh no 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 oh this is not fun <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, boys. Uh, I think this TNH inadvertently saved me here. Yeah. I get too impatient in tanks like this. I'm just like, I just want a YOLO. It was, was, was a fun badger game. Very fun. I can see why people like this. It's definitely, definitely good. What time is it? And it's uh, nearly seven o'clock in the UK, and I need to get some dinner. So. I will be. I'll play one more in the Badger because I feel like that was just terrible. I should make a video about getting teammates to help. Trust me, there's no, there's no way of getting teammates to help you. It's not possible. I've tried for many years, but they just don't make any sense. Even if they'll get more damage, etc. If they just... Best way for you to do it is just to literally... Um, is to just play like you don't have a team. 99% um, of the time. <laughs> That's how I, uh, how I avoid losing my sanity when playing this game. And you know when I'm getting triggered because I start looking at looking at people being like, "This guy, what is this guy doing?" It's a single player game. Exactly, it is a single player game. 
And once you realise that, you'll start doing like infinitely better. Because the amount of times where I'm like, oh, my teammates should have helped me here. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't get teammates in this game. And it's like you do something very, like, very common that you're like, yep, my teammates should actually be it. Boys, can we not? Um, and actually, it's just, yeah, you should just never rely on a teammates to do even the bog standard things that you would just be like, yep, obviously someone would want to do that. Because, trust me, obvious things in World of Tanks don't exist. They just do not exist. Oh, it's nice when you're actually aiming at the 705 and you pen the broken ABRE. Oh, the mouse. My big friend. I think we'll, uh, we'll load the premium and go through his turret because, I mean, playing the mouse must be so fun in today's meta. Well, look, my big friend. Especially when he's given us the side of his turret. <laughs> We quite know what he's doing there, but apparently they're just going now. <laughs> oh. The mouse is coming. Uh -oh. It's kind of annoying. I want to spot that VK at the back. Apparently I can pen this guy in the side. No way, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. That'll be tracks or something. Hey there, big fella. This is why I hate this tank. It's like that guy genuinely just did not aim whatsoever. No, please stop. Like now, I'm not going to push in, even though I could, because the Emil won. <laughs> the luck on hitting that. That's disgusting. One hour left for the developer stream. It's a highlight of my week, that is. Oh, I don't actually want to let this guy survive. I have to go for him. Of course he does. Then we're going to get penned by this guy. Brilliant. Just what I wanted. Was going for him originally. Mm -mm -mm. Where do you want to pen me, bro? Anywhere, basically. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I just cannot have a good game in the Badger, apparently. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the Badger for you. You have to get super lucky to make it work. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the stream. Um, but I think we will head off now, so... Uh, yeah, I think we'll jump off and uh, go and get myself some dinner. 
Um, of course, if you're interested um, in watching some other videos and stuff, we've got loads from this week, so you can jump in and have a look. But um, other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the Easter weekend. If you celebrate it or if you don't, just have a fantastic rest of the end. So, yeah. Um, and if you want, I will... If you want some new content that you haven't seen before as well, I'll actually link... Uh, Uh, my PC channel if you're interested in seeing that so yeah that's the link to it if you're interested obviously don't watch it if you're not other than that yeah hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one goodbye